There's an old Monty Python joke which says being embarrassed is all part of growing up and being British. Now, the question of what it means to be British is particularly pressing at the moment for the film industry. You may have seen news stories recently, conflicting news stories. One of them says that overseas productions in the last year spent over a billion pounds making films from overseas here in the UK. Films like, for example, Guardians of the Galaxy or Monuments Men, filmed in whole or in part in the UK, all of which boosted the UK film industry. At the same time, the amount of money actually being spent on British films has gone down and British films are having a hard time in UK cinemas. Many of them don't break even. Independent British films are finding it even more difficult. But what exactly is a British film? Ken Russell's mum used to have this phrase, is it a British picture? And what she meant by that was, is it boring? Is it drab? Is it in black and white? Is it about people that I essentially don't care about? Yet some eyebrows were raised when the BAFTA nominations came out and in the outstanding British picture category you had films like The Selfish Giant, an absolutely wonderful work by Clive Barnard which looks like a British film and then you had Gravity which is set in outer space with Hollywood stars, Alfonso Cuaron is the director and yet it's filmed here. All that magic, all that digital wonderment happens here in the UK and indeed the live filming was done at Shepperton and Pinewood. You think of great British directors like Ken Loach and Mike Lee, both of whom actually define themselves more as European filmmakers rather than simply UK filmmakers. So what does it mean to be a British picture? The fact of the matter is that in the future almost all films will be international co-productions. Apparently the most successful British film in UK cinemas last year was Les Miserables. Yes, it's a British film, but it's two stars, Hugh Jackman and Russell Crowe were Antipodean the last time I looked, and Anne Hathaway, who won an Oscar, comes from America. And of course the story itself is French. Meanwhile, Tom Hooper, his previous hit, The King's Speech, when that won big at the Oscars, there was lots of hoopla in the press, the British are coming. But interestingly, in Australia, they claimed the King's Speech to be a best film winner for the Australian film industry. The fact of the matter is that as the film industry expands, it becomes more and more global. Ask anyone who's raising money to make a movie nowadays, and they say the answer is to be international, to get your money from various different places. You can cast from all around the world. Special effects can be done almost anywhere in the globe. And location filming is no longer an indication of a film's nationality. The truth of the matter is that nowadays, if Ken Russell's mum was still around to say, is it a British picture, you'd have to reply, well what exactly does that mean?